Good day everyone, I'm Brother Eugene from the Brothers Kitchen. Together with me are the two students from De La Sobel. Hello everyone, I'm Gabriel from Grade 10. Hi everyone, I'm Anton Arvalo of the Brayfish. Summer is officially here. What are your plans this summer? I plan to go home for a while and then I'm gonna start training again and then I'm gonna accomplish my Kumon math. So same goes for me. I'll be going back to again the Oro and do some off-season work there, uh, trying to be in shape. And yeah, after a week or, a week or two, be going back here in Zubel and finish what I started. Since summer is the favorite time of the year for our students, we'll talk about something about service this summer. Our topic is service, what to do this summer. How about you, brother? What are, you gonna, what are your plans this summer? The summer is quite different because aside from attending some seminars and um, activities in schools, I'm planning to take a review for my LET exam this September. And aside from that, I'll go to Batangas this summer to visit my parents and my friends. So you're from Batangas, brother? Yes, I'm from Batangas. I grew up and I studied there. Oh, me also, brother. I'm from Lipa, Batangas. Oh, taga Lipa ka pala. That's nice. Because our dish for today, we'll talk about our culture in Lipa, especially in Batangas. This is Batangas Special Loan. So let's proceed. These are our ingredients. Cooking oil, red onions, patis, soy sauce, crushed garlic, quail eggs, pork strip, thick yam, we also have pork liver, white onion, calamansi, red chili, salt and pepper to taste, and don't forget we have our lomi noodles, two eggs, crushed chicharron, and cornstarch. So let's start. First, we will saute the onion and the garlic. We'll just wait until it turns to brown. So while waiting, what are your plans again this summer? You're uh, going home? I'm, I'm going home back to Lipa and I'm gonna start training again after a week or two. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Same goes for me because training is usually done for like every day after Holy Week. So might as well get that two, two weeks of rest to prepare for the super intensive training that's about to, get, that's about to happen. So brother, how did you learn this recipe? Okay, um, because before we have this canteen inside the airbase and my mom and my brother um, taught me how to cook lomi and this is the start of my career in cooking, I think. Mm. Just an info, um, our Batangas lomi is quite different from other lomis because mm. Um, our lomis are more on meat. We yeah. have many meats or ingredients than other lomis out there. And you know, um, in 1960s, I think, um, the, the Chinese brought this dish in Lipa. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy to cook and has a wide variety of ingredients. And cheaper price for ingredients. Yes. I think it's ready. Let's Let's have the meat. We already prepared the meat ahead of time for us to have the broth of it. So 
I think Perkyon is ready for this. You let's add some kikyan and soy sauce and also our patties. Okay. While waiting for our kikiyam to be cooked, um, if you have anything this summer that you think is very relevant for your family, like family reunion. Uh, usually, uh, every Holy Week, uh, we do visit the iglesia, go home to the real province, Kamigin, and do our like what, what, what we call what we call here in the Luzon penitentia. Okay. So as a tradition, I do I do panahad. So it's like visit the iglesia around around the island walking. Okay. So that's my one way of like sacrificing God, thanking for the blessings He showered upon me and everything. How about you, Gab? Uh, oh, I just go to church with my family and then I just uh just bond with them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, giving time for family yeah. is very essential this summer. But I will give you some tips this summer for you to really practice service. Let's start it with um, our service to our home. So it's very easy. Um, if you have time and you're very free one afternoon, you can start decluttering your bedroom and start sorting out things. Mm -hmm. And by that, by that action, you can help your mom or your dad in the bedroom and you can sort many things from the past school years that are just stuck in the in the room. Yeah, yeah, and they can sell it to garage sales. Yeah. Yes, that's a very good idea. Or better donate it to a church or community. Yeah. Yes. yes, especially now that we have many calamities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can donate those goods or things to the church. It seems that our KTM is ready. Let's pour in the, the broth. Be careful. Okay. Okay. So let's simmer this for three minutes. That can you give me the cover? Cover it. Okay. So while waiting for it to boil, um, I'll give you my second tip. The, this second tip for summer, we'll just talk about um, our trip. So most of us will be out this summer, aside from um, putting your sun black screen and some other stuff. Don't forget to bring out or to bring your cameras or your mm. smart smartphone with you and for you to capture every moment of your trip. Yeah, yeah. I think that's re re really essential. Because as I, as I said, I'll be going back home in again the Oro and do my um, like mini vacation there in Kamigan. So there's a place there in Kamigan, like it's called Mantigi Island. And then it's like a mini Boracay with a touch of Palawan. Okay. Um, it's like, if you're gonna pay for the ride, like, you know, the small boat, just to go to the island and then you're like you can enjoy there like do scuba diving, like snorkeling, like the white sand, everything. It's like um just gonna enjoy with nature for a while and meditate. Wow, so, so summer feels. Brother, how about being spiritually equipped this summer? It's very easy. First you need to be grateful of everything that you experienced in the past school years mm -hmm. here in your stay in Zubel. Then you pray for it. I think by being grateful to everything that you experience is one spiritually um, things that you can do or for you to be equipped for the next school year. Another thing is, Anton earlier mentioned about Visita Iglesia. Uh, yeah. I think that's very nice to um, experience this coming Lent or this coming Holy Week in summer for you to visit some of the historical places, especially churches here in the Philippines and abroad, for you to prepare yourself in your um, prayer intention. That's it. So it's all about being thankful for the blessings you have received. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm.
think our dish is ready for the noodles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's add our noodles. Yes. We put the cornstarch to thicken our soup. And you can still add more if you think it's still not thick. And after this, we need to beat the egg. Okay? Then pour it in our lomi. Very good. Then we'll just mix it. What did you notice in our recipe? What dish do you think is? It looks like a. It looks like a Philippine version of ramen. That's correct. It looks like a ramen, but this one is our very own lomi. Mm. Then, don't forget salt and pepper to taste. So, can we just spread it? Sprinkle it. Okay. Okay. And before we finish our lomi, we can put the quail eggs. Cover it and let it set for a while. There we mm. have it, the special Batangas Lomi. Mm. We will just plate this and see you in a while. Our recipe for today, Patanga Special Lomi. Um, the, the lomi is best served with this. Soy sauce. We'll put some soy sauce. Then, the onions. Also, you can put some calamansi. But if you prefer to be um, more spicy, you can have some chilies here. Okay. Then you can just mix this with your lomi. So it's like an additional topic, brother. Yes. Let's try it. Then you just mix it. Mix, 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 mix. Mm -hmm. let's, let's try this one. Mmm. Okay, it's good. Yeah. Good. Really good. It's good. Before we end, I'll just give you another another tip for this summer. If you still have time for you to maximize it better this summer, um, you can volunteer to Brigada Escuela or even in tutorial sessions with your younger siblings. That, that way, you can really maximize the time 
um, properly and hopefully. So brother, before we end, can you just fill in the blanks? Okay. Uh, I love to teach because... I love to teach because I want to transform lives of my students. Mm. Okay, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I let brother another question. So what significant um, sign in your life that made you decide to become a brother? Mm, nice question. Uh, I just remember when I was in high school. Um, I saw some poor kids outside our our school in La Salipa, and that made me realize that yeah, I need to um, work for them. I want to. Um, alleviate them from poverty through education. And I think that is a sign for me. That's why I'm here, a brother, and still teaching the students to be fair with other people, especially to the poor. I hope you enjoy our recipe for today. And like this below me, um, like you at least, you have many skills and talents. I hope you use it well this summer. I hope you can help in your house. Or while traveling, you have this um, sense of responsibility every day that you be more spiritually equipped through the tips that I gave you earlier. Yes, brother, rest assured we will definitely do that. Thank you very much. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Eugene De Luna or on Instagram at brogenefsc. And if you want to know more recipes and stories from the Brothers Kitchen, like us on Facebook or like us on Facebook or look our videos in our YouTube channel here down there. Once again, I'm Brother Eugene. I'm Anton Arvalo. And I'm Gabriel. And this is Cooking with Bro. Kami yaya na. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.